Psalms 119, 43. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. After the death of Moses, when God spoke to Joshua as the leader of the people of Israel, he clearly tells how to keep God's word. Joshua 1.8 states that, This law shall not depart from your mouth, that you meditate on it day and night, and that you do not turn from it to the left or to the right, then you will be victorious. It means that the word should be in the mouth mainly in two ways, reading the word of God and memorizing it and then reciting it. God's word in our mouth, even when we confess what someone else is saying, when he confesses the word of God, changes will happen in himself, in those around him, and in the spiritual world and in the physical world. Because the power of God's word is immense. Even when everything is against us, we should be ready to say God's commandments and God's promises. Because it fills us with hope, increase inner confidence, the adversary Satan and his kingdom will tremble at the sound of the word. Miracles will therefore happen in God's timing. The power of the word can be seen and experienced on the basis of faith. As time goes on, if faith diminishes, it will be tiring to call out the word. Then read the word again, meditate and gather more faith. In this verse, he is seeking help from God himself so that the word of truth does not depart from his mouth because he has faith in the power of the word. The word given by God on the tongue and God himself must help it not to go away. God's word transforms human hearts towards God. Throughout the ages, many societies and nations have been transformed as a result of the preaching of God's word among men. It was the word of God that changed their destiny. Let's proclaim the word of God and wait for God's judgments. God bless you.